Hey folks, it's Mr. Math Blog here, and this is uh, the start of Chapter 8. So if you're coming back from vacation, happy back to school. Uh, I get next week off, so I get to be happy next week. But I'll still make some videos for you guys. So, All right, so this lesson is on uh, multiples of unit fractions. So here we go. Uh, the common core is uh, stated there, and so we're going to use our prior knowledge on operations of whole numbers to build fractions from unit fractions. And so our question is, how can we write a fraction as the product of whole numbers and unit fractions? Okay, unit fractions means there's a 1 in the numerator. So we'll get to that in just a second. So let's access some prior knowledge, you guys. So write uh, each product as the sum of two numbers in two ways, okay? So 3 times 4, and you probably forgot, or maybe you didn't. If you didn't, good for you. And I teach this to my uh, high school kids. They're the first time through. They're kind of they're going, oh, yeah, when I, when I remind them. Okay, so 3 times 4. I can rep represent this as 3 groups of 4 added together. So it could be 4 plus 4 plus 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, remember that, you guys? 3 times 4 is just 4 plus 4 plus 4. Okay, and it said two ways up there, so let's do it the other way. So I can do four groups of three. So three plus three plus three plus three, that also equals 12. See, three plus three is six, six plus three is nine, nine plus three is 12. Okay, so now you got the hang of it, so do that with two times five. All right, so it could be five plus five. What's five plus five? Well, that's 10. Or it also could be uh, two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two. Is that five times? I think it is. Okay, yeah, so uh, you get 10 both ways right there, okay? So we're going to do this with unit fractions, okay? So for example, uh, at a pizza party, each pizza was cut into six equal slices. At the end of the party, there were five sixths of a pizza left, so there must have been more pizza than this one pizza right here. Tristan put uh, each of the leftover slices in its own freezer bag because he wanted to eat them later as lunch or something, I don't know. So how many bags did he have to use? Okay, and what part of the pizza did he put in each bag? Okay, all right, so um, so there are five of these six size pieces here, and this one six is not there right there. So that'll help us answer some of these. So how many slices of this pizza, of this pizza, were eaten? Okay, just this one of them was eaten right here, this one right here. Okay, so the answer to that one is one. What fraction... Uh, of this pizza is one slice. Okay, so what fraction is one slice? Well, they all have this one sixth in here, so each uh, slice is one sixth of the pizza right there. Okay, how about um, uh, write five six as the product of a whole number and uh, and a unit fraction? Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is this this picture shows five six. Okay, one two three four five or or blank six size parts. How many one six size parts are there? There's five of them in there. So there's five six size parts in there. Okay, so each uh, six size uh, part of the pizza can be uh, shown by the unit fraction one six. Okay, so each uh, six size part can be shown as one sixth right there. You guys with me? Say yes in your head. Nod your head and say uh-huh. Okay, so you can write uh, unit fractions to show 5, 6 in two ways. Okay, so 5, 6, and remember we're writing them as unit fractions. It could be 1, 6, as a, that's a unit fraction. Anything with a 1 on top is a unit fraction. 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 would give me 5 of them. 5, 6. Okay, so there's 5 times a 6 in there. So, so here it is. Uh, this is my unit fractions right here. So we're going to say the unit fractions represent the part of each uh, part of pizza that's in each bag. So each bag has one sixth of a pizza right here. And then this five is called the multiplier or the number of add-ins. These are the add-ins. How many uh, we added right here? So I added all these one six. So the number of add-ins and five is the multiplier. Okay, so it's the number of add-ins that we, we added, these 1, 6. There's five of them right there that represent the number of bags used, okay? All right, so so Tristan used five bags, and he put uh, how much a blank of a p uh, pizza in each bag? He put uh, 1, 6 of a pizza in each bag, okay? You guys with me? All right, so explain how you can write three halves as the product of a whole number and of unit fractions. Okay, I'm going to quickly remind us what we did over here. When we represented 5, 6 um, as the sum of unit fractions, we added uh, 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 6, 
five times, and it gave me five times one sixth. Okay, so I'm going to do that the same thing with uh, this three halves right here, except my unit fraction is going to be, remember the unit has a one on it, so my unit fraction is going to be one half. So I'm going to represent three halves as one half plus one half plus one half, or three of these one halves, three times one half right there. Okay, so here we wrote three halves as the sum of unit fractions. Here's all the unit fractions, one half plus one half plus one half. And then uh, this is the product of the whole number. Here's my whole number three and the unit fraction. Okay, the whole number and the unit fraction. Here's my whole number, here's my unit fraction. Anything with a one is called a unit fraction. All right, so uh, here's some multiples. The product of a whole number and a counting number is a multiple of that number. And you're thinking, what? Okay, product means multiply, you guys. So the product of a number, pick any number. I think I picked five, you guys. And a counting number is a multiple of that number. So for example, you've learned about multiples of whole numbers. So here's uh, the products of five. One times five, two times five, three times five, four times five, five times five, six times five, and so on and so on. These are all multiples of five. So when I multiply these, I get five, 10, 15, and you guys know 20, 25, 30, and so on. They're all multiples of five. Okay, well, we're going to do this with unit fractions, you guys, so we can also find multiples of unit fractions. Okay, and we kind of did that already. Okay, and so I'm going to let this rectangle represent one right there. So if that's one, that's one-fourth right here. So here I have one of the one-fourths right here. Okay, so this shaded area is representing one-fourth, and I have one of these right here. So there's one times one-fourth. So it's asking us, the book is asking us, is to use this model to write the next four multiples of one-fourth. So if this is one one-fourth, let's do two one-fourths. So here's two one-fourths right there. There's a one-fourth and a one-fourth. So two times one-fourth is two-fourths. Okay, let's do the next one. So let's do three of them. Okay, so here's one. There's one-fourth, there's two, there's three. So I have three one-fourths, or three times one-fourth, which is three-fourths. Okay, here's four-fourths. Okay, you see that? I did four one-fourths. Okay, let's, said the, let's do one more. Let's do five-fourths. There's five times one-fourth, which is five-fourths right there. Okay, so uh, the multiples of one-fourth are one-fourth. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, one-fourth, two-fourths, whoops, three-fourths, four-fourths, and five-fourths. Okay, so I just multiplied them times, here it is, one-fourth times one. One-fourth times two is two-fourths times three is three-fourths, four-fourths, and five-fourths, okay? All right, uh, so number lines. Let's use a number line to write the multiples of one-fifth. So there's all kinds of ways. Now they want us to use a number line. So here's a number line right there, okay? So it said uh, to do one-fifth, and so I have this number line all cut up into five equal pieces between zero and one and one and two, okay? So how many fifths is this guy right here? This is zero fifths, so I'm just going to represent that as zero over five. Okay, this one is how many fifths? This is one fifth right here, so that's going to be one fifth right there. The next one is going to be two fifths right there. Okay, and then three fifths, and then four fifths, and then one is equal to five fifths. Okay, and if I kept going, this would be six fifths, seven fifths, eight fifths, nine fifths, ten fifths. Ten fifths equals two. Okay. All right, and that's the end, you guys. So if you're finding these videos are helpful and you're watching these at home, just please click like. That would mean a lot to me, okay? Take care, everybody.